Have you ever wondered what games you should keep or you should lose? Find out here at Purdue. Here's Camp Grizzly expansion number two. It's going to come in one of these blister packs. I don't understand why. It was never released in retail, as far as I know. Open it up. You're going to get a bunch of things to pop out here. And I'll set those aside, and we'll take a look at everything as it pops out. So first thing we'll take a look at is a new survival card. So let's zoom in on this. And I'll flip these over and go through them. This is very rare, so I'm going to show everybody what's included and go card by card. Uh, better you than me. Play after drawing a cabin card. Choose another counselor to encounter the cabin card instead of you. It's self-preservation. Play at the end of your turn. Heal all your injuries. Otis strikes a random counselor. Play when you're about to start fooling around. Pick another counselor. Take your place. Move to an adjacent cabin. Ditch out. At least one other counselor is present. When Otis strikes, you may move up to three spaces away. The counselor remains in a figure fight or minus one to their rolls. Cancel a single-use survival card as if it's being played and add it to your backpack. Play when you receive an injury. Pick another counselor, cameo, or camper in your cabin to take the injury instead. If chosen, the cameo or camper is immediately killed. Switch backpacks. Play at the start of your turn. Switch backpacks with another counselor, then discard this card. Your backpack includes any unequipped information that you would have. And play at the start of your move phase. Switch locations with another counselor. So if you need to get somewhere, you can definitely get there as quickly as possible. Then we're going to have some cabin cards that we'll have in the deck. We're going to have a new handgun. There's an inscription, Jenkins, enjoy your retirement. This has ammo on it. Play dart. You're going to have a four-sided die. If it's ranged with ammo one, you have a six-sided die. Practice bow. You'll never go hungry. So this gives you a little bit more weapons than this one. Shotgun. It must be the same gun that killed the groundskeeper in the 60s. And then you're marked for death by Otis. Place this card on your counselor sheet. You may discard a card from your backpack to transfer marked for death for another counselor. Instead of drawing a cabin card on your cabin draw, Otis strikes, and then you discard this. So he's going to come after you in the next time unless you can give it away. To arm bears, every counselor within range of Otis must roll a four-sided die and something will happen to you. But an objective appears at a random nature trail. So here's another objective out. Here's the ammo that we referred to earlier. Let's give you some shells. Any phase, discard ammo to reload one ranged weapon in your cabin that's out of ammo. Draw ammo tokens equal to the weapon starting ammo. Cherry Bombs, you may raise or lower the result of any die roll by one and discard after three uses. And then you're going to have a new kid that will come out. It'll be Doyle. He's a camp bully. Other campers in Doyle's cabins attract one for their special rules. Big for his age, Doyle adds one to all your fight rolls. Stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. So that's Doyle. And then you have John the Carpenter, which is the famed director, I suppose. Place the John Paul on the tool shed. So this is going to get you this new guy that will come out. Matches everything else. Stalk 2, Target 2, Counselor Special. If John ends his move in an empty space, place a lock there if one is available. If he crosses his path with a killer, he's immediately killed. So those are the new cabin cards that you're going to have with a new ally. A lot of these weapons you're going to be getting, this new one's going to include ammo, and these will be the ammo tokens you have. They're nice little cardboard ammos that you can use to the game. Here is the new character, Jackson, that will be added in. You can see he's pretty strong. 3, 2, 1, 2, 3. So he definitely can take a lot of hits for you. His panic is 2. And he's detached. During his move phase, Jackson may ditch a camper in his care and roll a six-sided die. And then he can just shuffle the camper back in the cabin deck and draw one survival, or the camper is killed. He's also a crack shot. He receives plus one to all his fight rolls when using ranged weapons. So Jackson's a new character, which I like quite a bit. I think that's really neat how you can ditch the little kids if you want to. So here are some new rules on the back that you can see here on the number two expansion sheet. Range weapons. When a range weapon is drawn for the first time, you get a number of ammo tokens that we put on it. And then range combat. The cost of one ammo token, you can use to attack a killer that's in range. If he's in your cabin or adjacent, he's in range. Uh, nature trails are not considered to be in range. Take a shot. You spend ammo token. You roll the dice shown on the range section of the card. Then you roll the attacker's dice, and everything works kind of the same way. And that's what you're going to get with this one. So keep your distance. It's a really neat addition. It does add in those ranged weapons. I do like Jackson quite a bit. And I do like John the Carpenter, which is really funny rift on the director. This is a really cool one to get. And this is one I would recommend probably being one of the first ones that you get if you're going to search one of these out. These tend to be rather expensive, so I know they're going to price some people out. But I do like the ranged weapons. They're really, really cool. I do like Jackson as a character. He's one of my favorite characters to play as. And this is one I would say is two thumbs up. Great expansion here.
One of the big bummers about this expansion is you don't get any more endings. I really need more endings in this. Endings is what I'm after with these expansions. And this one did not include any extra endings. So that was kind of a bummer for me. Otherwise, it's a really Thanks good Thanks for watching the video. I really recommend. appreciate you tuning in. If you liked it, please like it and hit that little subscribe button. That really helps out the channel. Let's us know that you're getting the videos that you want. If you agreed or disagree with what I said, feel free to comment below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. And I promise that I will comment back. Thanks for watching. And everybody else, keep playing.